Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So now we are going to do lead code weekly. Second question with this medium level question and let's move ahead with this question <laughs> directly. So the thing is here we are given with largest the question name is largest palindromic number. So which is the thing which we are required to return here. Now here the thing is that you are given a string num consisting of digits only. return the largest palindromic integer in the form of a string and even the input is also string given to us that can be formed using digits taken from num it should not contain leading zeros so while forming this palindrome the there shouldn't be any leading zeros that also we are required to take into consideration because if there would be leading zeros then surely uh, because it is a palindrome right so it's at the starting there are zero then at the ending the zeros which are there so they are not considered then uh the means other way round if you say it means the starting zeros are not considered but the ending zeros are considered right so in that context if you say that if there are leading zeros then surely that palindrome won't be a palindrome because they won't be considering the leading zeros so that's the thing they are saying that they it should not contain any leading zero So now next thing which they are saying is that you do not need to use all the digits of the num. So it's all right even if only one digit is being used from that num that is also sufficient. That is they are saying. Means at least only one digit should be used. Means it shouldn't be like that you are not using any digit of the num. And then the digit can be reordered. So here it's a question of that the largest palindromic number which is there that is completely required to be formed by ourselves so that's the thing which we are required to do in this question so let us take this first example uh, 3 4 3 three times 4 is given to us then 9 and then 4 so till now we are getting 4 times 4 and 1 9 so we can form a palindrome out of this by rearranging them but we are required to come up with the largest one right so we will be moving ahead and now we got 7 also in this and again one more seven was there right so now we got a rajas palindrome here you got the same that's the thing they are going uh, doing so the basic intuition behind this question is that we are required to get the count of every character which is being present in the string right although these are integers but these are stored in the form of string so that's why i'm saying as character so every character which is there we need the count of the same and then after that the next step uh, how we are required to form our algorithm is basically in this manner that the first thing which we would be doing here is we will be directly so now let us move ahead with the coding of this question so in this question how we are going to code is like this that first thing is that we are taking this vector of and we could have even used a hash nav in the same that would also solve the purpose but let us take the vector where we are just taking the 10 digits in here that is from 0 to 9 and here we would be basically storing the count so that for the same it has cnt and here we are storing the count of the same by converting each star to its sky value of means to basically just converting it to the integer and so that we are having that if it is one so corresponding count towards that one is this much and then we are going ahead with left partition and the right partition why we are doing this left partition right partition because in a palindrome we would be side by side only storing this left and right uh, partition and the thing is the right partition would be reverse so that after clubbing both of them we could come up with the palindrome and then here comes the part and this part is for basically for that much count when we are having uh, um, having a count of each character more than one basically num uh, pair is existing for that particular number so that's why we are using this particular loop and this particular loop is for all single digits and at the end we would be reversing the right right partition and at the end we would be merging both of them so now let us go through this particular part so in this particular portion what i'm doing is here i'm taking out each character from my num so that i could know that this much character are being present in my num and so that this much are being present so this much time i am required to 
basically for my left and right partition so that's the thing which i'm doing here so here we will be starting our loop from 9 so that we could easily make our palindrome being the largest one because largest number is basically 9 rather right so that's why we are starting from 9 and then we would be going in decreasing manner so here first thing which we are required to check is if the count of that particular character is greater than 1 that is it exists in pair form then we also need to consider that either of condition that either it should be greater than 0 that is it should it be 0 because it was strictly mentioned that reading zeros are not allowed right so that's why we are checking for those numbers which are greater than 0 and then all the condition should be that it is a less partition dot size basically the last one element or you can see the starting of this particular so that's why we are considering this so then we are basically adding up our present character which is being there now because we had stored this in the form of uh, wait wait so here it was in the integer right so at the end also we require them in the form of string only right and that's the reason we are basically adding up zero here as we were subtracting here zero so that it could come in the form of integer but here we are doing so so that it could be converted back to the correct form and completely as a string so that's why we are adding zero here and to the right partition also we are adding zero and then as we had basically added rg to this one also and to right partition also so that's why we are decreasing the count of that j by 2 because we have decreased two characters from that particular right and at that moment only we will break out from this particular loop and when we break out from this particular loop so now this outer loop it will help us to check for the next round of this particular so in this for loop now if 9 9 if this 9 is having one more pair so it would be detected here if it won't be having any more pair so now comes the next part for the 8 and then for the 7 like this only it will go ahead and whenever any pair is detected so the count would be decreased and before that it would be added up to this left and right partition and when all this process done then it will break out of this loop so this is the thing which is ongoing in this loop basically keeping the count of all the pairs which are present here and then we are going ahead with this particular single digit then the count is basically great uh, when the count still exist right because here the count would be all the counts which are greater than 1 would be done but if only one count is left basically one count is equals to 1 that is only left so in that criteria we would be here rather than adding that to right because now only one correct is left right so we can only use one one of the partition and how the palindrome is being stored there is one middle character which is rather than taking that as a separate middle character we are directly appending that to a left partition because this would be as it is ongoing and it won't be reversed right so that's the thing which we are doing here and after that we will be breaking out of the loop and then here we are reversing and then at the end returning our answer so this was all for this particular question and now comes the part about the time complexity and the space complexity so as you can see here we are using this particular loop although it is just traversing n times and then inside it it is traversing nine times so the time complexity from this becomes n into 9 although 9 is a constant but still it is like running n into 9 uh, means nine times it is running for each n character so that's why we are considering the time complexity here as n into 9 and so overall it and in this particular it is just nine times right and in this also if this it is n times so overall time complexity for the same is order of n but here is the catch that we are having the reverse order also so reversing is also being done here so that's why the reversing is also being done right so here also the time complexity is basically okay time complexity is basically order of n so the overall time complexity for the same thus concluded becomes order of n 
and the space complexity which is there it is also order of n because we are using that vector uh, but the thing is that we are using just 10 characters right so and 10 is a constant so that's why the space complexity is order of 1 because besides this particular vector we are not using any other extra space yeah so that's why the time complexity is order of 10 the space complexity is order of 1 so this was all for this particular question if you have any doubt you could comment that down and i hope you like this video if you don't like this you could directly comment down that also that what improvement is required and one more thing as a lot of student ask me about a particular structured course where they are having live doubt uh, solving sessions one on one mentorship interaction all of these stuff are there and even one of the best part is that here you won't be asked for the fees at the starting but when you are getting placed then only you would be asked for just fees means placed after after the course and and also placed to their companies only means the companies with uh, which they which with they have done the partnership so that course is being provided by newton school so you could directly head over to the description and check about the link which is being provided there and for further details you could head over to that link and you'll get the whole detail of that particular course so this was all for this particular video so yeah thank you